If you hear a shot, then you take a beat. Cause if it's some stress, then the person on the right. No, 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 it's literally three. Why, don't do this in notes. I literally hate that you be stealing my iPad and doing that. Mine doesn't come till Wednesday. Cause they had the color that, they had silver in stock, but I didn't want silver. Hey guys, welcome back to, oh wait, what is it? Hey guys, it's Anna and Lexi, and we're back with another YouTube video. So today we are finally doing our fitness transformation video. This has been highly requested. We had a couple vlogs, so today we're just gonna sit down and chat with y'all. Um, we're just gonna go. <sighs> okay, so I literally made an outline of you at iPad about our uh, what? <laughs> I made an outline on my new iPad, which um was so fun to create. So I'm gonna just hold. This I'm not going to the mall. I'm not walking to the Apple Store. And, I mean, we're gonna use this for school. We did want to get one before. It yeah. was just, it was better for us to get a computer, like with the student discount and everything. So it was better for us. But we soon realized that, you know, we go through so much ink, so much paper. paper. Like it's not like worth it. Obviously, some stuff we can print, but like ink is expensive. And the stuff that we're printing, like 50 slides worth of like paper, like every single week for just one class, is absolutely crazy. So, um. We decided to invest in this we are investing in. Anyways, today's video is gonna be about our fitness transformation. We're gonna be going over like kind of what we did before we got into fitness, you know, what life was like, what our physique was like, what our mental state was at, and then kind of dive into, you know, how we got started, what struggles, what our diet became, you know. What drove us to start posting online. Yeah, just like the whole time, the whole shebang. So Let's start off, like, <clears throat> so excited to use this. I just want to preface this by this is our fitness journey and what we went through, and we're just going to be talking about everything and anything. It just, so. yeah, it just, it pertains to us in specific, nobody yes. else. Yeah. We are almost two years into our fitness journey where we are working out consistently for, like, a certain amount of time, I would say. Like, we've been consistently working out for about almost two years in january it will be well at the end of the year it'll be exactly two years yeah but the reason why we say consistently is because before that we were really active as kids we were in a ton of sports we were three sports athletes up until like what eighth grade yeah and then we just played basketball year round but like you name a sport we probably played it at least we were what our school had offered. yeah we were in we were in soccer the only thing we didn't do was volleyball because there was just a lot of drama within that Within that, it was a whole lot, but we did soccer, track, basketball, cheer, tennis, what else? We tried gymnastics. We did try gymnastics. What else? We tried a lot of things, but I think the main thing that we stuck with was basketball because we played AAU for about four years. We were pretty much playing basketball for like nine out of the 12 months. Yeah. And um, But before that, we would do like soccer in the fall then we do basketball and then we would do track and we only did those two like when we decided to stick to like the three sports we wanted to continue doing we only did the other two for basketball to like stay in shape so we were just like okay why don't we just do aau so then we started doing that and we did that for two years and then we're like why don't we just play fall ball and then we proceeded to that so then we were playing basketball all year, year round yeah i want to say that we were like crazy i mean we were we, we were knew average. How to, we knew we, how to do we, our job. We did our job. Yeah, I would say we did our job. So if we worked together, yeah, which would be like super cool. But yeah, but I wouldn't say we were like we weren't crazy. crazy so don't be like, oh, well, we no, no, it's not happening. No, we don't even try. <laughs> Apparently, we'll play basketball with Devin. Now. <laughs> Before we like, we were always in sports, but I would say it wasn't until we started going through puberty that we started to like lose weight. Because I would, I will pop up some pictures. Anna and I were like pretty chunkabunks. Pretty. Ch chunky as kids like 
I feel like we ate pretty good, you know. And we were just a little, lot. you know, we were in that little, that little pudgy stage. And right we were before. short. Yeah, we were shorter. We like had like a girl spurt. where we stretched. And our mom always said, you will stretch out, you will stretch out. And literally like, I was like, no, like you're lying. There's no way. But literally like a year later, we stretched out. Yeah, I would say when I joined track in like seventh grade, that's when I started to grow. And I started to actually, I lost quite a bit of yeah, weight. Yeah, and track. I was still kind of pudgy. Like Lexi well, went through puberty before me and I didn't do track the first year that Lexi did yeah and even then so I still wasn't a runner so I was just yeah. shot put <laughs> I didn't run either I didn't really want to but like during that time like I would say our confidence like I just didn't give a fuck like if I, I was gonna say I was gonna say like it's not that it was low I just think that we just didn't care I didn't have any I didn't want to impress anybody I didn't feel the need to like yeah show off or whatever like I literally wore like Or for jeans. myself even, like I just didn't care. I was like, I'm gonna do me. Yeah. If I was comfortable <laughs> if I was comfortable in some crocs, some basketball shorts, and a t-shirt and a headband, which is what I wore every single day so like it. until like freshman year in high school, then I was gonna wear it because yeah. I didn't care. Yeah. No, in uh in track I would say like that's when I joined track, that was the first time I put on a pair of leggings. Seventh grade, that was the first time I was comfortable wearing leggings. And before that, I would just wear like literally my mom's like baggy jeans. Anyways, I wouldn't say we like we didn't really have confidence. We just really didn't care. Like we really didn't care. It wasn't. It, it, it it's not that we didn't have it. It was just non-existent. Like, yeah. But once we started to stretch out. We started like, you know, doing more with our hair, you know, well, experimenting with makeup, yeah, like that type of thing. Trying to like, like find our style too. A little yeah. Bit. And definitely like the town that we grew up in like heavily influenced our like when we did start to get any sort of confidence or feel some type of way about like caring about what people think or what our what we think about ourselves and all that. Um, it was really hard because we were like one of the few families of POC and everyone around us was like very thin, um, straight hair, yeah, predominantly we all, white. We so. all went through that phase where we like all straightened our hair. Um, there wasn't a lot of like curvier representation or just like our what we what, there wasn't people that like looked like us around us if that makes sense yeah and i feel like so, when we started losing weight we started to get a little well, bit more insecure so we, when we stretched out i'm saying we were still like on the curvier side so we always thought that we were more heavier set or like bigger boned and like thought that we needed to lose weight when in reality we didn't like did it like look back pictures, at those pictures i look sickly like, you know because i did i genuinely thought that i was like big at that time and now looking back at that like literally like 30 pounds later i'm like why was i why was i thinking that like what was i doing like i needed to eat more i needed to do more i needed to gain more muscle because but honestly with basketball we, it was a lot of cardio that we were doing so and in my we didn't really team, weight train at our school yeah. either so oh yeah but you also tried weightlifting for a little bit. i did do we that did, yeah so we knew we knew the basic movements and everything was cut out but like yeah sorry we, that was kind of an important factor weightlifting definitely helped with our knowledge transitioning into working out mm -hmm. at the gym but yeah, so pudgy, stretched out. We started to have some self-image issues, issues and confidence issues. Um, not that it was terrible. We just like always felt like we needed to be thinner. But also, I feel like it wasn't to a super unhealthy point where either of us like happened to get like an eating disorder or yeah anything like that. Like it wasn't it wasn't to that extent. Um, but. There were just like, you know, average pubescent teen confidence issues just because like there wasn't much representation around us. And 10th grade, sophomore year of our game, last game of the season, last game. Literally on a night, <laughs> we did not want to go in. Like literally five minutes left. It's like, what's the point? Like I already got my playing time like for the whole season. Like I don't, I don't want to go in. I'm sitting at the end of the bench for a reason. We, I want to preface, we loved basketball, but we hated playing for our school. There was some times where it was fun and other times where it was fun. Well, and it was a coach issue. It wasn't a teammate issue, it was a coach issue. But that's why we were at the end of the bench. But yeah, I sat at the end of the bench. And we didn't want to go in. And Anna and I went in and at the end, <laughs> Anna and I, <laughs> literally if I, I can video? Buy, yeah, if I can, I want to insert the fucking video. It looks so stupid. <laughs> like, 
Lexi is running and she's going up to block a ball and she's coming in on this side and I'm coming in on this side and Lexi fucking misses. The girl scores. I eat shit and then I'm just like laying on the ground with like, my leg. No, because it was literally the first thing Anna said. Like, like, tear your ACL is no fucking joke after okay. seeing Anna do it and like, literally she was laying on the ground, leg like, and she was like, I can't feel my leg. And I started crying. It wasn't like that. My leg was just numb. And I just couldn't get up right away. And I was like, I knew something was wrong. Because my knee, like, popped. It went like, like, it went like that. And, like, I've always had, like, knee issues. You had, like, Osgood Schlatter. I had Osgood Schlatter's. I've had issues with, like, my PT band in the past from track and stuff like that. Like, I always wore a knee brace because my knees were already creaking. And I fell. And then my coach slowly makes her way over. And so... I had to sit in a wheelie chair and obviously their trainer looked at my knee and they were like, yeah, like your ACL seems to still be intact because obviously like they wiggled it around and they're like, okay, um, I was like, okay, go home. Um, the trainer at our school looks at it. He looks at it and he says my ACL is still intact. My mom's like, nope, not happening. Brings me to the ER and they're like, yeah, get ready for surgery because you actually tore like a lot and do you need to have surgery next week mind you this was like right when covid was hitting like like March. right like so right, yeah because end of the season yeah so it wasn't a priority surgery and instead of having it a week later like most acl reconstruction surgeries happen i had to wait a month because which is like i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm just saying like i had to wait a month and so I low key adjusted to the injury, even though I literally couldn't run and my knee would give out. But like, I, besides that, I adjusted to the injury. And then um, I had my surgery, started to do physical therapy throughout the summer and that kind of thing. And then. You guys are like, like so bad. I did not get on my. I had one leg that was trying to stay. Lex and I just didn't do. We, we didn't, didn't do anything because of COVID. Nothing was going on. Yeah, there was I mean, no fall back. That's like, ball. that's like really when stuff shut down. Like even the gyms. And it wasn't until, because that was in, you tore your ACL March 2020. And then stuff kind of started opening up. a lit, Just a tiny bit. And um, the new year. Yeah. The new year. Yeah, so of January 2021, Anna and I were working. This is when we were working a lot at Dairy Queen. Yeah. So we could finally afford to get ourselves a gym um, membership. A gym membership. Well, already, I um, I had to get a gym membership because I had to be running, and it was obviously the middle of winter, and you can't do that in Minnesota outside unless I wanted to re tear it. And I had to do like start incorporating incorporating like weight training and that kind of thing just to you know gain the muscle mass back because my leg was literally like slick. It, it was literally like I've never I seen my thigh to calf ratio be that close. Like. <laughs> No, because I always called Anna's leg her dead leg because she would walk around and just kind of be there and I'd be like, it's her dead leg. That probably is so bad, but. Well, I tore my ACL, my MCL, my meniscus, my PT band was like already stretched out. And they said going into the surgery, they wouldn't know if they would like tighten it back up until they opened my leg up. And then they tightened it back up when they opened my leg up. So yeah, I have like, you guys probably, I mean, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, let's see. Oh, on my leg, but yeah, this is from the PT band. I honestly don't know how they like did everything, but I know this one is that, but yeah. So I have a lot of scarring on my knee from the surgery, but so back to what I was saying anyway. So we started going to the gym. Yes, and that's when we, like, we paid, we had a family plan, and so we would pay, like, our mom, like, our part of the um, fee, but that's when we started to go to Staff Fitness, because our school was still online, like, nothing was open, and I'm, our, I feel like the only reason why our gym was open is because our town was so stinking small, because... Yeah literally nothing else was and and honestly before that we were doing like at home like youtube workouts like you following like chloe tings and just like you know 20 minute lower body workout like and 20 stuff like 30 that 30 minute like full body hit like just stuff like that with the yoga mat like so we started going consistently starting january 2021 i'm gonna tell you right now i did not know what the hell i was doing i did not know i did not have a structured workout honestly i just be like following workouts that I would just look up, you know, yeah. like I created like a workout split in my head that made sense. I did like 
I did like legs, upper body, legs again, and then like chest. Like, you know, I had like the basic. Yeah. I was going probably like four times a week at this time. Even now, sometimes I'll still look on like TikTok and follow someone else's workout. Like, no, I just, yeah, I love doing that. I love doing that. Like, or that's I just like what make it up do. as the go. Like, yeah. make it up as you're like there, see what you have to work with. Cause, but uh, we just started to go. We started to work on honest like physical therapy like she had plans that she had to follow too yeah so we you know we started getting into like weightlifting squatting but squatting was very hard for us just because of the knee issues that we've had and then doing that like squatting just wasn't it so we tried to focus yeah. on other exercises just to get her muscle growth back and yeah. that's when we started to really get into fitness and continuously start going because basketball wasn't happening AAU was not happening and so that's when we felt really motivated yeah but as time went on the motivation like went away like i'm like oh do i really want to go to the gym after i've just done like eight hours of school work to six hour shift like no so that's when the consistency came in that's when the dedication came in because i'm gonna tell you right now you don't the, always want to go the motivation is only there for so long and it deteriorates and it deteriorated quick for us so well it was different for me i would say i would well, say you have an obligation there, like i had too. goals like if my knee if i wanted to recover i had to keep going and be consistent it was even and if until i wanted, like a year it was i actually got cleared really early because normally for just an acl reconstruction nine months is like when you are cleared and i was cleared around like the nine and a half mark when it should have been a year so i was i mean i was doing my stuff like so I'm, you did I'm, a lot of running during I, that time in a walking. Yeah, I did. A, I had to. So, cause you know my knee was just so unstable. So running was actually hard. I mean, still it hurts. Like if I run or like. Yeah, sometimes you do get. It just like, like a straight shot, like a straight ping to the meniscus is what I feel when I run. But yeah, um, once I started to find like my workout split, like. Oh, this fun. Well, we also fun. saw like. When you Wait, first start going to the gym, you see like progress kind of quick. I felt I felt like I saw progress after like one month, like actual like, progress. Quick. But I noticed I didn't even realize it until like looking back at my fitness journey. I like went through like a year long like bulk. Like I gained like 30 pounds since I started my fitness journey. Like not even like no cap. Like I was literally at like 132 and now I'm at like 155. That's not like exactly 30 pounds. It's close, like 25 to 30 pounds, give or take what I eat. <laughs> but yeah, and that's crazy. And I didn't even realize like that's what I was doing, but I did. And well, we were working out more, which means we like have more of an appetite. More. We were eating more and that kind of thing. Um, we experimented a little bit with supplements. So like we had protein powder, and then Anna got Oxy Shark for the first time, which. That was even before we were with EHP Labs, which we were taking that to. That was over like probably a year and a half ago. That was. I had the peach rings one. I bought yeah, it on Amazon. Yep. <laughs> so we had protein powder. We had pre-workout. We had oxy shred. You know, we were experimenting with stuff. And but we're just in general overall, like Lex and I mentioned this millions of bajillions of times. times. We. Like, I want to preface, like, your weight gain, whether it's muscle, whether it's fat, whether it's a distribution of your body in general, your body composition, all of that is based on your genetics. Anybody you watch, that is based off of their genetics. Like, Some people just have naturally big, like, quads or hips or, or, or their abs show or their like, abs. Like, they're, like, fat percentage is really, for, really low. For women, it is normally extremely hard for, your like, your body it's to harder. get... Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's, harder. I mean, it's harder to get that a low enough body fat percentage to see visible abs due to the fact that we naturally have fupas, or which is like a fat deposit right in front of your uterus to protect, you know, your uterus for like when you have babies and all that. Like that's literally natural. So like all of that stuff, like some people just have naturally big biceps or lats or whatever. Or they, can, they have like their quad dominant or glute dominant or whatever. Like they're or like genetically, if they work that muscle out consistently, it's just, they could see gain. You know, they can see growth in the span of like two to three months, and then like you, very quickly you won't be able to see growth on your body for like a year. You know, like it's all it's all different and based upon you and your genetics and what you're made up of. So, um, I mean, even with Anna and I, I feel like going through our fitness journey, like. Ours were different. Yeah. Ours were different. But we do look similar because we're twins, but mm -hmm. ours are still different. I just want to like preface like when you're watching anybody, like be mindful of that because we never like, I never, I feel like some people just don't talk about it enough. And like, we've never, since the get go, we've always said, <laughs> since the get, since day one, we've always said, you know, that. Well, and I also want to preface too, like, 
like following creators online is so fun but like you have to remember like sometimes like their full-time job is to post videos in the gym and to be in the gym and create content and have growth and like help people stay influenced and motivated and like that is great like i love that but also it's their job to you know spend three hours in the gym and just have a complete burnout and like not everybody has time for that the average person has the nine to five and then you know maybe kids they need to meet and so they're like i have 45 minutes to do this workout you know let's yeah, get, get what i exercise it or like yeah let me do what i need to do in this time frame you know what i'm saying like just you know keep that in mind well because not it's not always realistic yeah because sometimes like you know sometimes i really like you get hard on yourself you, you get, get like, hard why don't i look like them why do i not like see my progression as fast as them because you know when you follow someone for a long time like you see growth with them too and it's like damn like why why am i not and it's just like genetics time you know whether it's realistic and like what you can give and you know as well, long more as so like what's what is realistic for you and yeah. your life and your your schedule but also uh, and one thing i want to say is take progress pics because yeah. whether you see or not in the mirror you can always compare pictures and we i didn't take enough we didn't take enough and i hate that because people always say like oh like make videos of before and after i have like not that many pictures when i started when like i started social media that is when i started taking a lot more pictures and i can't see a difference between now and then what just happened? Mm. Is take progress pics. When you first start, like, take a picture every day if you have to. Like, yeah, or, and or take once videos. a week. Or once a week. Like, take videos, take progress pics, because whether you see it, other people will, and then you can compare those pictures and be like, oh, like, like, I'm, I'm I am making like, I, 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 I am doing like better. Not. And also, I feel like this was honestly, like, to, like, a mental transformation as well for us, because I was not that confident when i like first started i knew i was very small and i wanted to like have muscle i wanted to lift a certain weight i had fitness goals that i wanted to achieve and i was just at a very like low place and i feel like throughout you know my time i became like a very confident person obviously i still have my own insecurities but i feel like you know i'm comfortable in my own skin i know my self-worth i care yourself well i yeah and i'm still there's still things that i'm working on but i'm doing way better i'm in a way better place than i was before and i love that for myself because it's both physical and mental it i is. think and well and like i'm sorry i'm literally i have to do a sweet uh, uh, a speech on like persuading and my topic is literally like working out consistently like there are so many health benefits to working out like regularly it does not have to be anything extreme it literally you don't even have to be in a 150 gym. minutes a week whether that's walking like literally moderate exercise like that's it in some way shape or form and like literally your brain releases like chemical reactions and it's like a natural medication for like stress anxiety depression like even ptsd and then just health like overall like reduces chances of stroke heart attack reduces chances of like getting type 2 diabetes um helps manage like chronic illnesses and everything like at least started seeing progress you know felt better about ourselves and we just it just became a habit like it became a habit to go yes. we were online and the following year we continued to pretty much do all pseo and continue to be online so the seo is post-secondary education it's like option. college so classes in high school. you enroll we were taking them all online so you know we could pretty much plan out our schedule because they were all asynchronous classes so that means you know no we not even a zoom we decide when we do the do, work do the work and that's very that relies heavily on yourself and being independent and getting your stuff done yeah and we we could do that so we could go to the gym you know early in the morning or late at night and get our stuff done and that's when i posted my first tiktok in the gym it was literally like this little dance i barely ever posted on tiktok and then i started blowing up on social media and i started posting my workouts and then people found out that I had a twin, and then Anna started posting our workouts, and so then we, you know, used our love, freaking love for the gym, and you know, put that out on social media. Um, I wouldn't say the gym is my life because it's not. It's you know a larger portion than I would say some, but like it's not my life. Like no, I'm not so like the gym became my life. Like. It, no, it, like I live, it, sleep, it, breathe, gym. No, it's not. I have other things that I want to do. Other things that I want to accomplish. It's not. I don't 
this is a personal preference. I don't think it's 100% healthy to be obsessed with the gym. I love going to the gym. I set a I set aside time every single day. You know, I it's an escape. It really is, but it's not my life. It's and I shouldn't life. be escaping from my life to go to the gym. I shouldn't like I look I can look forward to that some days. I really do. And then other times I dread the gym. Like I am so it needs to be like balanced. It, it, I it's hate not, it. You it's know what? I'm yes, about. I do. But I'm just gonna say, like, we're just gonna say, like, it's not our life. Like, I don't want it to, like, oh, be my well, life. Like I know in some ways, yes, it definitely does define me. You know, our platforms, our our online, is, our specifically Instagram and TikTok is more so like our fitness niche. But it's also, you know, a little bit lifestyle. Like, it's kind of like fitness based, but also we do everything. And I feel like with YouTube, you can see the diversity of our content. And um. Yeah, but it just left so many things outside of it too. Like we like hanging out with friends. We like meeting you guys. We like going to new places, we trying new foods. We enjoy new doing things. like school. Like there, are, that's why we love YouTube in general too because we feel like, um, and I don't know. It's just we love sharing that on here because it's longer video content. You know what I'm saying? And we feel like our you guys like love it too like you love when we post fitness content but you also love like our vlogs like that's what that's like 90 percent of like what you guys enjoy the most yeah. i would say so just you know have balance like definitely set aside time enjoy it love it do but, things that you know but there's so much more outside of the gym and yes that's just what we love with that too yeah yes that's a good way to put it i kind of just decided that you know, I had some things that I wanted to achieve in the gym, like fitness goals, and it was honestly, at that point, after like, you know, getting all this muscle, I just decided to like, maintain where I'm at. You're not speaking. At that point, which was not too long ago, I just yeah. kind of wanted to just maintain where I'm at. I didn't want to cut, I didn't want to bulk. I, yeah. I, I mean, I, obviously we still have like goals and stuff, but it's not like anything crazy. Like, yeah. oh, like I want to be, I'd love to be able to do a pull up, you know, but you also have to like train for that. And we're also in school now. I mean, I think I have been training for that. But we're also in school now and, um, you know, like, I feel like we're both very comfortable with like where physically we're where we're at, you know. I so it's now it's just a matter of like maintaining and you know honestly like learning new things, trying new things. Cause like once you're cons be for real, you're changing. Your life. But no, it says it's too. So we're back. The camera got overheated, but a little intermission. Um, Lexi and I actually will be moving <laughs> next next summer. So you'll get another moving series. Um, because A, it's cheaper, it's bigger, and... Well, it's only 50 square feet bigger. But still. Um, and the gym has free weights. And, you know, if you live on a college campus, like, most college, ca all account most college campuses have, like, you know, rec, rec recreational wellness facilities, and normally they're busted. So, the odds of, you know, being able to film that kind of thing, it's, like, just not realistic. Uh -huh. I would, my anxiety could never... I would never try it, because it's, it's not even, like, it's, like a bunch of different age groups it's literally all people like within our age group and it's just stressful so not happening but they have free weights there and that'll be literally the only apartment building like around us and we're also the first weights. tenant to like live in yeah because it's not even done being built yet so it's super nice we're super excited but yeah okay anyways let's get back to the point okay so we were talking about fitness school so yeah like right i would say like once we started to get a little bit like i would say probably what do you would say mid like the summertime yeah so you know 2021 goes by we're learning we're seeing progress social media starts to like take off a little bit at the end of 2021 and into 2022 we kind of just decided you know we have some fitness goals that we want to try to achieve but at that point it was more so about maintenance you know there's not I mean, there's not like oh like i want to be able to squat like this much by the end of the year because i'm not gonna lie like i really don't squat as much as i should but there are some things like like i want to be able to do a pull-up like i would love to you know be able to rep push-ups rep push-ups or like there's more so things about upper body that i want to achieve but yeah, yeah those are my other well and especially now being college like um, I know a, a chunk of y'all are probably in school well, like, you know, like, the nightlife, going out, that kind of beat, like, it can catch up to you if 
you're not mindful outside of that and like taking care of your body and, yeah exercising so and hydrating maintaining is a big factor um not that we're like crazy about it but like you know my one night out a week, week you know if you do that a little you multiply that by like three to four and it'll catch up to you yeah let's move into like food because i know we get a lot of questions about what we eat today and we'll uh, share some online too but i also don't find like them extremely helpful because we don't track i okay i personally well, also, i don't well, 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 like everybody's diet is gonna be different like well and everyone's like like you know somebody might be like people's metabolisms are faster than others like so i feel i i agree with that i don't find what i eat like, is necessarily helpful besides maybe you're looking at the meal itself rather than yeah, what the you're taking taking away like oh that like looks good that I looks like a good. structured meal but other yeah other than that like i mean i've done a couple and i wouldn't mind doing them again because lexi and i do really enjoy like cooking up here and like being on our own now like i we do every other and it's super nice um but yeah i i don't i mean definitely i try and be mindful about what i'm eating but um, you don't track but i don't track and i'm not going to restrict myself either obviously like i'm not gonna be like oh i'm craving you know this for lunch and then I'm craving this for dinner and I'm gonna go get both and they're like both extremely unhealthy or something like that. No, but I'm not gonna like subject myself to, you know, eating just chicken and rice chicken like. and rice every <laughs> single day. Just because like that's not a goal for me. I don't think it would be like healthy for me mentally. Like my biggest thing is making sure that I have a healthy relationship with food. And the minute I start thinking in my head like, oh, I need to not be like eating this much or like you know feeling bad or guilty about like food that i'm eating i'm like okay no like pause and you know you're okay like da -da -da. like you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. just a matter of like maintaining a healthy relationship with me and i find that like tracking wouldn't be good for me and it would i probably would have time to do it being up here now being in college well and another so. thing for me is like i feel like there was like a period of time where like i tried to like using my fitness pal and like it just wasn't it, it just wasn't it but um I did at one point, I think, like, track, like, a good amount of, like, protein that I was taking. I do make sure, like, I have good amounts of protein in my meals. Like, yeah, like, obviously, I was maintaining muscle mass. And yeah, stuff like I would that. say for, like, the first half of the day, like, I can get a good chunk of, like, protein in. Like, you know, some meals will have, like, 20 grams of protein. Others literally might have 45 to 50. And then, you know, your protein shake and just doing all that. Like, I would say regardless if I'm, like tracking it in my head or not like i still consume a good amount of protein every day and that's what i make sure to do if anything otherwise like my calorie intake like i i really don't track i feel like my meals are pretty structured and that's what Anna and i are going to college well, for is nutrition yes they keep us full too you know like oh. so we're our degree is in nutrition, nutrition. yes so, we originally um, we're going for nursing but because of you guys and everything online and i feel just like our love for like fitness in general um we, yeah. nutrition works really well it, it correlates a food correlates a lot with you know your health as well like is it too hot so the camera died again but we're it just all right it's just getting overheated well, we hope you guys enjoyed the video this has been long awaiting it was a whole process but pretty much that is our timeline with our fitness journey you can start anywhere like but you can start anywhere anytime any place like it does not have to be on a monday it could be on a wednesday um but yeah so we hope you guys are doing okay i want you to make sure you're tracking your progress and do what's best for you do what's best for you and what you feel comfortable with and what, and what your body allows you what to you do. have time for you know that kind of thing like make sure you're setting time aside for yourself and um, taking care of yourself it's getting cold I hope this gave you a little insight onto our fitness journey if you guys would like us to go into into depth into some topics we can maybe include we, we'll we include would include that in like a vlog our, or our next you know chit chat or twin talk whatever mm -hmm. so um yeah if you have any questions do ask them in the comments we will answer them as um, honestly as we can and be excited for next week's video because what are we, we doing are going christmas shopping and decorating that's too fucking early no it's not it's november that is too early because no, then i'm not gonna be excited for christmas no i'm excited for christmas because i hate the christmas day i like everything leading up to it i don't want to decorate for christmas like that i do I think the next vlog, y'all, I think... Comment if you want us to decorate next. Go shopping for the stuff and decorate next week. And don't have to be crazy, but... 
As soon as there's snow on the ground, I want some decorations up. And there will be soon here in Minnesota because it already snowed. snowed. Yeah, it already snowed. It melted. Wait, it no. Snowed. Next vlog, I also think that Ana and I are gonna braid my hair. Maybe. No. I want to do it. Well, do I want to help you? Are you? Fuck if you don't. You think I'm gonna help you if you don't help me? Who said I want to make?